to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Hell yeah. TNT. Yo. A, uh, a major influencer from our early life has passed away. Dude, I heard about this. Honestly, I heard about this this morning when I was driving home from work. Yeah, so Jerry Springer crazy. died, dude. Yeah, I know, right? He was like... I used to come home and watch Jerry Springer like every day after school. I know. <laughs> My mom would watch Jerry Springer. Then it was like Montel Jordan. Montel Jordan. Mo- Mo- it was oh, Mo- Montel Maury- Williams. Montel Williams. Yeah, it was Maury Povich, Jerry Springer. Maury. Montel Williams. Uh, Sally Jesse Raphael. Yeah, that was, that she might have been before all of them. But. Ricky Lake. Ricky Lake. Yeah, he would always have Sylvia Brown on, the psychic. Oprah. Dude, I remember when Jerry, when he used to let him fight. And yeah. it, would, it would literally just be, and let's bring out Steve. And he just comes out and starts swinging on whoever's on stage. They pull him apart. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the, that was like the whole thing. And then, and then they like got, I don't know why they got in trouble for that. Like it's, uh, and that was basically pro wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of it was staged. Oh, absolutely. A lot of it was staged. And then, uh. And then, and then they would let him fight, but they would cut the camera away from the yeah, fight. Yeah, like, yeah, so I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. Like, why is that? And then that his security guard got his own talk show. Steve, Steve Wilkos. Yeah, yeah. 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 I um, thought the weirdest portion of the Jerry Springer shows when they bring on like the the sex workers, and, okay, like, the um, like the uh, the strippers and stuff, and they'd be like, <laughs> I'm gonna tell my boyfriend that I've been. <laughs> I've been so, turning tricks. I've been turning tricks, or I've been pro- or I've been stripping, or whatever, dude. And then she just like do a strip show in front of the whole crowd, and then he get up mad, walk away. And she go, baby, I love mind. you. <laughs> yeah. And come back and like, I want the ring back right now. <laughs> yeah, the ring back. Yeah. So interesting story, and I'm, I don't know if you know this. What's that? Um, and because I don't know if you know this girl, you used but- to date a sex worker. No, no, I hadn't. Over. Not that I wouldn't, but I have not. Or maybe you don't know. Yeah, maybe. There was a girl that was, she She was in Ashtabula. Mm-hmm. And uh, one, I was I was in high school. And one night I was slipping through TV at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I think it was, it wasn't, I don't think it was Ricky Lake. It was, it was one, it was a talk show. And this girl that I knew was on it. Well, and we she might- was on like. And like she was not herself, she sa- she was saying her name was something else, and she had the story. I literally popped in a, a VHS tape and started recording it because everyone knew who this person was, and I was like, "Why is this girl on Ricky Lake?" We'll just say Ricky Lake, and and then like so someone who she had moved away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell the story because honestly, this happened to me too. So tell and, the story. And uh, I don't I don't know I don't remember what the story was. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. And then so I I popped in, but then someone who still contact knew her yeah. was like, "Hey, we found we think we saw you on Ricky Lake," and she was like, "Yeah, that was me. Me and my friends like figured oh, okay, we'd go okay. on there it's and not like the same person. No, it's not. It's not. Because I said I don't think you know this girl because she used to hang out. Um, she used to hang out at the greenhouse, but like wait, like okay. I, it may have been before you were hanging out there and stuff because oh, okay. it was she moved away and stuff, and it was just interesting. I don't remember what she said her name was like Sapphire or something. And she had a wig on. <laughs> what was? Do you remember anything? It about was this? something about it was like I don't remember what it was, but it was something like she her boyfriend she was cheating on her boyfriend or I mean she but she said it was all it was all fake they like they made up the story and they brought him on and like whatever uh, and, and so i think a, like a lot of that was just for show okay so funny enough this actually happened to me in similar context but uh it was when i was living in richmond heights actually okay. in ohio and there was a girl that i went to um, when I when I lived there, I known her from school. This was many years later. I saw her on I don't remember the talk show. It was one of the smaller ones, like a Tyra Banks or something. Oh, like gotcha, that. gotcha, yeah, yeah. But uh, they were doing an episode where it was about like uh, boyfriends being tested to see if they could cheat. So they would like set the dude up. Oh yeah, go have fun in the city, and then like some girl would come up and try to flirt with him. Is he going to try to take her home up to his apartment or whatever? And it was oh, like, they entrap them. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So I remember seeing this girl. I was like, I used to actually like try to flirt with this girl, and I saw her boyfriend. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Okay, and it was just weird. It was just weird to see yeah. somebody you know on that type yeah, of show. Yeah, especially because for me, it was like I was flipping through at like 2 a.m. on like a random night, and I was like, 
what the? Yeah. Because I called up my buddy. I was like, turn the channel, whatever. And he was like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and like, I was like, I'm, I got a VHS that popped it in. And like, I mean, it dates how long ago this was. <laughs> a VHS. <laughs> but, but Jerry Springer, but Jerry Springer was in, in it. He was done by like 2000. Yeah. I yeah. mean, he I was, mean, well, he was, he's an older gentleman, man. He was old during Jerry he said Springer. He was 79 he when was he 79. died. He's been battling cancer. Yeah. Cuck fancer, man. Bro, man, it don't matter how much money you make or the impact you make in life, man. It's coming for us all. So. Uh, especially with all the nanoplastics we got. And <laughs> <laughs> the, the nanoplastics <laughs> got us. with all the nanoplastics. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, uh, I love it, dude. Yeah. You see the worms that can eat that ish now? Oh, they got worms that eat nanoplastics? So I actually watched a documentary on this, man. It was very, very interesting. There's like a worm... I I think we talked about this on the podcast. I vaguely remember talking probably. about worms that eat plastic. Yeah, probably, actually. Okay. So there's like an Australian worm that is actually an invasive worm to many beekeepers. There was a, bee, a beekeeper that actually located She said she put the worms in a plastic bag to uh, take them away from the bees, and she noticed that the worms had started eating through the bag. Apparently, these worms, like, digested, and through some process, they're able to actually... Like they digest and they treat it as like normal food, so they just like poop it out. So. Man, if they could teach humans how to do that, we could just eat plastic. <laughs> I we, world hunger be cured. I mean, I've chewed on a pen a little too long in my day. Do you think that may be the cure to world hunger? Is the where cancer? we just Do we eat plastic. <laughs> Let me get there. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> do you think <laughs> you're good? No, you're fine. No, <laughs> do you think the cure might be we just replace our stomach with like worm stomachs and then we can just eat plastic? I'd be all right with that. Would you? If if listen, if somebody was like, we could we could do something where you would never have to eat again. Yeah. And you would you would drop down to like whatever the proper BMI weight is, and you would stay nourished, but you never got to eat food ever again. Yeah. And you would, but you would never be. You'd always have proper nourishment. No. You just put a pellet in your belly or something like I'd do it. No, nah, fam, I'm about to order a pizza after this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give up food. Look, look, as as bad as I know it is, dude, I I would rather be able to eat a good food occasionally. You yeah. Know, as, as a treat, obviously, than never be able to eat again. Yeah. I don't know. The, prob man. the problem is, is like food is too good. And it, yes. I want to eat all the good food all the time. Yes. So, so if I could just not eat and not have to worry about dying from not eating and being tired or having proper nutrition. Yeah. It would almost like I would almost rather like just be like, no, nah, dude, I just don't have to eat anymore. I'm good. I feel you. I do. Because it takes it takes the worry off your head. It's like, OK, well, you know, eventually I'll just, uh, you know be like skinnier or i'd be something. all fit and ish dude like because because uh, because you, your body would adjust like if you your body would only take the nutrition it needs so like you would you would automatically lose weight to the point where you plateau where your body is whatever it's set for whatever yeah. your whatever your body needs right yeah 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 i mean you wouldn't be fit though like there's well i mean i would be going to the gym and stuff too so i wouldn't be fit but <laughs> i would be going to the gym i'm still going, going to the gym now all but right fair enough but I would still go to the gym, but if, like, you didn't have to eat right and you had proper nutrition and you went and worked out all the time, you would get fit. I mean, that's that's the epitome of how you get fit. You eat properly and work out. Like, you get fit. That's what happens. <laughs> I don't know what other way you do it. I don't know how else you can even achieve this goal. I mean, how would you get fit in... I mean, you work out and eat right. I don't know. Plastic surgery pretty yes. works pretty well. Yeah, that's. I mean, yeah. Get you some see, lipo. you can get like uh, you can get pectoral implants, and you can get like the, the pseudo abs. They I want a Brazilian in. butt lift because I heard those go really well all the time. Have you ever seen a man with a BBL? Have you ever? Uh, no, I don't look up guys BBL. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't even know that was the term till you said it. So I take it. There's an artist. Oh yeah, BBL Brazilian butt lift. There's a uh, there's a male. The uh, artist named Saucy Santana. Saucy, what's like a musician artist or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He came out with a, a song a couple a couple years back that went super viral. Oh wow! I guess they had a walk, 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 walk. It was a good song. Very, very sounds catchy. Good. Uh, yeah, sounds um, real good. Exceedingly gay. Um, and he got a BBL, and he he identifies as a man. Very interesting looking gentleman. I suggest you look him up at home. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, do that up. Also, music pretty good, too. All right. Well, go to thegracenow.com and subscribe, because that's all the time we have for today's episode. For Jonas. TNT. We out.